seven years with Detroit, three years with the New York Giants, four mm-hmm. with the Baltimore Colts, five with Miami, and I had two other teams with the uh, You go back uh, way, way back, 1956 with the 49ers. I was their number one draft choice, and then uh, traded to Pittsburgh. So that was August of 1991. I was working in Tampa, Florida for 970 WFLA Radio, hosting a sports talk show and had on as my guest that night Earl Morrill, the longtime NFL quarterback. Now, being this was Tampa, a lot of the callers wanted to uh, talk to Earl about his days in Miami as a member of the Dolphins. He was part of that perfect uh, season in Miami. But me, being born in Baltimore, wanted to talk to him about his days with the Baltimore Colts, where he served as a backup to John Unitas. And of course, that discussion took us to a rather painful subject, the loss in Super Bowl III to the New York Jets. You have uh, played for some incredible teams. Good grief. Uh, I actually thought that the Baltimore Colts team that you played on that went to the Super Bowl against the Jets was was possibly the greatest team of all time. So it's it's kind of unfortunate in that respect that the Super Bowl ended as it as it did against the Jets. Well, that's true. We had a great uh, great team. It was a veteran team, and they were more my age, I guess you'd have to say. Uh, and uh, it was my as I look at statistics wise and everything, we threw the ball more than I did then with the uh, Miami Dolphins. And we only lost the one game. That was against Cleveland. And, uh, we were coming back in that one. But uh, uh, then we ended up losing the uh, Super Bowl game. So that really put the damper on that uh, that year, that team. Uh, overall, uh, it was a good team. It's one of those things. Uh, you run into those days that uh, it just didn't work out for us because uh, – we moved football. We were down there, but we didn't put any points on the board. Mm-hmm. Does that does that bother you to have to? Because that was that was such a big game with the AFL winning its first Super Bowl and all. And every time you flip on the dog on TV, you see uh, Joe Namath with his hands raised in in the air. Does that ever kind of eat at you still? Well, it does. Yes, uh, it, it bothers you. You, you sort of uh, look back and say, "What if?" Mm-hmm. And, uh, you look at all the different plays that happen. We started out moving down the 30-yard line, missed a 30, what, 36, 37-yard field goal. That set the tempo, I guess. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, they come back and slowly moved down, got a field goal. Uh, I think they scored a touchdown and uh, three field goals. And it just, uh, our defense didn't play that bad, but uh, we just uh, couldn't get it on the board. I didn't see Jimmy Orr in the end zone. <laughs> yes, I remember seeing yeah, that. Uh, Jimmy hands jumping hands around up. with his hands up in the air saying, throw it to me. Throw it hey, to I me. didn't see it till this last fall when they were going back, uh, picking out the great plays of the, the Super Bowl. And they finally showed him, and he jumped up down the end zone. And when I saw him on TV, I said, hey, he was open. <laughs> I should have seen him. I so just a, him all <laughs> you noticed him just a few years too late. You're right. Quite a few years too late. We never, never really had that film. You know, when you play a game mm-hmm. today, you go back and look at the, uh, the films and uh, look at your mistakes and other things. But that was the final game of the year. And I don't think uh, the Colts even kept a print of it because uh, I never saw it back in, uh, in Baltimore, a replay of it, uh, you know, total going back to the game films or anything. Only uh, saw the write-ups about it and uh, heard the talk shows, but I never mm-hmm. saw it until it did come up. That was one of the, the mm-hmm. uh, big dinner they had. They picked out the great plays of Super Bowl. They had 12 of them named, and that was one of them in there. I'm sure you said thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. thanks a lot. <laughs>